Ambassador Duchi, how will um, how will be my right to feel that this is my home and I'm feeling safe? I know that I have received a number of questions from the community, particularly from the immigrant and refugee communities. Is what is the Aurora Police Department? What is the Aurora Police Department's role? and in philosophy, if you will, on the enforcement of immigration. And I'm going to make it really clear and simple. We don't care. We don't care. We are not here to enforce immigration. <laughs> the question is, is if, there, if, if the uh, Trump administration uh, decides uh, to target uh, cities like Aurora, like the city of Denver, and others who said that it is not the role of our police departments to enforce federal immigration. Will our elected representatives in those communities stand together with the police forces and, and try to continue to defend those policies? You know, um, <coughs> certainly Colorado, <laughs> certainly wouldn't, I can't imagine that Let's just see what happens. We don't know what's going to happen, so I'm not going to stand up here and tell you exactly what we're doing. I think there's a lot of speculation, and we really truthfully don't know where that's going to lead. And um, I, I, I believe in waiting to see what happens rather than uh, living in fear and, and, and speculating. You know, we're going to try to stand up with uh, people like Chief Metz who have said that they will enforce local law and leave the federal issues to the feds. Uh, I think that's a courageous position for the department to have taken, and I'm really glad Chief Metz to be taken. Uh, it's not supposed to mean fear and bigotry and a lot of the awful things that have been said and the awful things that have been happening. Whatever your political views, I hope we can all agree, that is wrong. We need to stand up against that, and that's why I'm standing up here now. So we'll both be around after. Thank you.